Hi, I want to talk with you about what might be the biggest bargain in the world of modern astrology, at least uh, serious astrology, and that's community membership in the Forest Center for Evolutionary Astrology. Maybe you're interested in evolutionary astrology, but you just don't have time to enroll as a full-time student in, in the FCEA. We totally understand. It's, it's fun and it's meaningful and all that, but it's a lot of work. It's a big commitment to be a, a, an enrolled student in the school. Uh, maybe you don't have the money. Maybe Maybe you'd love to do it, but money is the issue. We are working on some scholarship options, but we certainly understand about financial limitations. We do keep our, our fees as low as we feasibly can, but we've got a lot of tutors, we've got a lot of mouths to feed, and so we do have to live in a practical world. You do too. Maybe you don't have money. We, we get it. Uh, Maybe you're thinking of becoming a student, but you're not too sure you want to make that kind of a commitment to the school. Maybe you'd like a little taste of it first, and I, I couldn't blame you for that. So once again, if uh, any, any of these conditions apply to you, maybe becoming a community member in the school is actually the best solution for you. As a community member specifically, you pay $99 a year. That, that's, the, that's the fee. Uh, the main thing you get out of that is the right to attend four webinars, which I do e each year. So per year, four of them, every three months or so. Uh, they're presented to the students, but also to the community members. Uh, these events uh, run between 90 minutes and a couple of hours in length, usually leaning more towards a couple of hours. The students in the school submit questions. Some of them are technical astrological questions, some are philosophical, some are about the counseling realities of astrological practice. The questions come in, we, we sort through them, we usually answer most of them, if not we choose the most interesting ones, and we just dive in. I, I answer them as best I can. At the end of each of these programs I, I read a chart, uh, generally focused on a specific question, but we put the chart up uh, on the screen, uh, we choose it at random, actually use a random number generator so it's totally fair, and I dive in some depth in, in, into this chart. So it's questions and answers and then a chart analysis four times a year, 90 minutes to a couple of hours. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, the school has been in existence for a couple of years, so we have quite a library of, of these question and answer calls, which is also uh, archived and, and indexed. Now, a little bit later in this uh, presentation, I'm trying to keep it short, but I, I will show you an example of one of these Q&A sessions, just, just one, one interaction, so you get a sense of what that is, and we'll also be looking at this index that we're working on. It's already pretty good, but we're improving it. Now, these webinars, uh, along with uh, my various books and videos I've made that are available for public consumption on uh, forestastrology.com, uh, between the webinars and all that, you can get yourself a, a pretty good astrological education on a reasonably tight budget. Uh, we can even help you a little bit there. Another benefit of becoming a community member is a 20% discount on all the material uh, that I've, I've written or otherwise produced that's available on my website. So a 20% discount, that, that's a pretty decent discount. And we've got some other perks planned. I don't want to talk about them yet because they're not a reality yet, but that's what you get for your $99 a, a, a year. I'd encourage you to consider it. If, you, uh, uh, if you're drawn to this kind of work, uh, give it a taste. It's really not that expensive. Um, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about with these Q&As, here's uh, once again, as promised, a, a segment of, of one of them where I respond to one question from a, a student of ours, actually one based in Australia. Our, our, our beloved dean, uh, Dr. Katie Cadge, reads the question and then I respond to it. So here, here, here's a taste. The triad of sun, moon, and ascendant is very useful, making a simple sentence out of the three. I am my sun with the soul of my moon wearing the mask of my ascendant. 
How might we extend this out to include the ruler of the ascendant? That seems like a useful addition. My clients enjoy exploring the triad sentence, hence my thought to extend it to include the ruler of the ascendant. Thanks and love, Ruth. Okay, a good question. I'm going to uh, make a, a, a very straightforward answer to that. I've constructed a, a fourth sentence. Before I, uh, I, I share it, though, I'd like to say that uh, to keep perspective here, the, the purpose of that, that little system is, is to create uh, an impactful simplification of, of the root structure of the chart. So like in one sentence, sun, moon, and ascendant, and you, and you feel it. And uh, in order to achieve that, uh, much had to be stripped out, such as the ruler of the ascendant, a planet conjunct the sun, the houses of the sun and the moon. I mean, it's a really very skeletal schematic system that works like crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm with Ruth, I'm really happy with it. It does establish a kind of uh, emotional connection with the root structure of the chart. Once you've really let it sink in that, you know, here's the teacher with the soul of the mystic wearing the mask of the shaman, you know, or, or something like that. Once you've got that in your heart, if, if you say anything about the Neptune or the Pluto or the Mercury that diverges from it, little bells go off inside your heart. It's like, you know, wait a minute, here's, here's this person who is the life of the party and suddenly you're going to talk about how shy they are. And it's like, no, that's not going to work. So I, I just want to be clear about the purpose of, of the thing and why I'm a little hesitant to further complicate it. So with, with that said, let me further complicate it, you know, in, in response to Ruth's question. So I, I've, I've constructed a, another sentence, I had to work on this a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to read it. Um, and the most characteristic area of my evolutionary work in this lifetime is developing blank in the area of blank. Now, the first blank is the sign position of the ruler of the ascendant. The second blank is the house position. So for example, uh, <clears throat> if we have uh, the ruler of the ascendant, whatever planet it might be in, in Aries, and uh, it's in the third house, just arbitrarily. So then again, and the most characteristic area of my evolutionary work in this lifetime is developing courage, see that's Aries, in the area of speech, third house. And so that allows us to focus the meaning of the ruler of the ascendant as the, the action, the characteristic action that is, is most most helpful in terms of uh, establishing a sense of uh, being at ease in our skin, being the right person at the right place at the right time, all that good ascendant stuff, which is extended onward into the ruler of the ascendant. So I hope that's helpful. So that's one example of uh, many hundreds that we've accumulated now, me doing my best to respond to a, a student's question. Again, they, they range from simple questions to some rather rather technical and, and complex ones. Um, the material is all indexed, and this is an ongoing project. We've, we've already made a pretty good start on it. But as I mentioned earlier, perhaps you're interested in something very specific, like uh, I wonder if Steve has ever uh, made a comment about what it means to have a, a, a Moon-Saturn aspect in one's natal chart, just for one example, or what does Saturn have to do with fear? Well, we, we go right to the index and, and we can scan through and, and see if I've responded to such a question and uh, where it is, you know, exactly which, uh, which, which video to watch and which minute of which video to watch and so uh, there it is. We're really proud of this index. Otherwise, uh, listening to all of these Q&As would be pretty overwhelming. We know most of you will have uh, specialized knowledge. So you can see as I, I speak, we're kind of scanning around and you get an idea of how the index works. Uh, we're going to make it better looking and, and probably a little bit more precise, but we're off to a good start. We're already proud of it. 
Now the FCEA itself, we're a, a rigorous, uh, no holds barred, three to four year program teaching people how to move from zero, if that's where they're starting, to becoming a, an effective astrological counselor working at a professional level and capable of making a living by helping other souls with their journeys. You know, it's a, it's a good life. Uh, and that's what the school is about. That's what happens if you're an enrolled student. But we're also a, a community of souls. And, and so if you're drawn to what we're doing, but it's not the right time, or you don't have the money or you just want to get your feet wet before you decide if you want to jump all the way in, please consider joining us. You, you'd be, be very, very welcome. Uh, you can join the school in spirit so to speak. Uh, if you've watched this video so far, you know, maybe you're already at least halfway there. But if, if you do want to consider signing up, uh, here's how. Uh, go to forestastrology.center and you'll see this opening screen. Scroll down on that opening screen and you'll see membership. Click on that and you're there. And by the way, some of those uh, possible future perks are, 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 are listed there. I think we'll eventually implement them all. So that's all. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you either as a student in the school or perhaps as a community member. Thanks.